mini lecture on Davy Wilson, character development, topics, and themes. I am not going to be directly on the screen because I just don't want to be on blast like that on YouTube. I know you guys understand because I notice that most of you don't use video for our Zoom conferences. Anyway, let me tell you what my thought process was for this particular video. I was just going to have the camera focused on the cover of our books, but then I thought maybe I'll use the shadow reflection in my flat screen TV combined with the combined with in the background a portrait of me, a kind of shadowy avatar as it were. Does this characterization by visual style make me look black? So much for an attempt at wit, but seriously folks, since I am not presenting material on a whiteboard or projector screen, I don't think it will matter that I am not visible. Unless, of course, you guys really like seeing my face that much, which I really can't imagine being the case. Another benefit is that you don't have to watch me fumbling with my laptop as I read off the screen. But whatever, it's up for you guys to decide, so let me know with a thumbs up or down if YouTube will still allow that, even though I have disabled the comments. So please just click thumbs up or down to vote on the shadow format, not the content, okay? Back to my intentions for this video. What I am thinking is this mini lecture's visual style, if you can call it that, is not even visual. It's more like a podcast or radio program. No picture required. Speaking of audio, I live on a busy North Salinas street, so sorry in advance if you hear an ambulance, which we fully understand, or the people racing by going nowhere fast who just want to show off their loud pipes and perhaps for once be heard. It's frustrating trying to do the work of the people under such conditions. Anyway, enough of the excuses. Let's get on to the mini lecture. My thinking on the content side is that my role is limited. In the tradition of the Socratic method, I will be asking about as many questions as I make statements. I don't want to totally interpret the text for students or write their paper. My goal is to provide some analytical framework and encourage critical thinking. So, this mini lecture is more of a detailed or annotated outline rather than my professorial, expansive, 45-minute classroom lectures. Students will fill in what is intentionally or unintentionally missing here with their own research, critical thinking, collaboration with study buddies, and by asking questions during our live or video meetings. Accessibility note. After some of these items in the following list of topics, I kind of indulge my sense of whimsy by inserting some emojis. For instance, after the topic love, there is a heart emoji. After the gender topic, there is an emoji of the male-female universal symbol. If this causes undue complications for screen reader devices, please let me know and I will remove them. Characterization Brainstorm Here is a partial list of examples of characterization. The device, technique, or method authors use to make their fictional representations of people, that is, characters, seem 3D, three-dimensional, and real. Another word for realism is verisimilitude. Verisimilitude is a positive value in the type of reality-based and historical fiction written by E.L. Doctorow. Some of these points will be followed by thought questions. The intention is that reflection on these questions will be generative. Characterization of Baby Wilson. Characterization by name. The baby has no first name. It's as if his biological parents didn't care enough to bestow one upon him in advance of his arrival. As one student posted, the name Baby Wilson is just plain and a placeholder. Question, what might the significance be of the nickname Hey Sue? Does this indicate that Karen is Latina or, as some students have speculated, Native American? 
Let's see if we can find more textual evidence for Karen's human group or race. Characterization by name. Wilson. A common English name meaning a derivation of William, which means force or will. Question. Let's stipulate, for the purpose of discussion, that the author has attached some significance to the name Wilson. Through the name Baby Wilson, Will, what could be the possible commentary on Will? Do we have free will? Characterization of Karen. Characterization by appearance. Note Karen's hair, dress, lack of socks. She's characterized as a kind of hippie or a flower child, by the way. She works in a flower shop. Hello and you're welcome. Characterization by action. She kidnaps the baby, which is the inciting incident of the plot. Characterization by name. Google the meaning, various forms, and derivations of the name Karen. Question. Do any of these seem to fit within the context of the plot? Can you think of any cultural figures named Karen whose personality may connect in some way with the Karen in our story? Remember, Dr. O was already old when he wrote this story. So if there is a Karen in popular culture that he is alluding to, it is probably a notable person named Karen who may no longer have been prominent or even still alive in your lifetime, assuming you are recently out of high school. Lester's characterization. Characterization by action, reaction. When we first encounter him with Brenda, it is fairly clear that Lester is not as intelligent as her. There may be characterization in his acceptance of the kidnapping, which is clearly not smart because, as Brenda points out, it is a federal crime. YouTube the infamous 1932 Charles Lindbergh baby kidnapping case. Lester's actions, or more precisely his reaction to the kidnapping, characterizes him. In your analysis essay, go on and add further detail if you wish to include this point. My intention here is not to take over your interpretation or write your paper. Characterization by strongly held beliefs and appearance. Lester may also be characterized by his belief in his vehicle, the Durango. He says he always, he's always liked the Durango. Question. Why might Lester have an affinity for the Durango SUV? Lester is also characterized by his actions as a con artist and a gambling cheat. An example of another action which characterizes Lester is his careful combing of his hair in the bathroom in the bathroom in the casino before going out to the gambling floor to charm the female dealer and take a chance at fortune. Test his fate at the gambling table. He uses his physical appearance as part of his cheating and conning, which suggests that he's at least that smart. Characterization by action. Lester is characterized by his nonstop motion during their getaway. The text seems to be exploring the concept of impermanence and change versus stasis in this changing of locations. The text may also be asking whether the state of flux or motion is the natural state of existence or for any real Americans who would pursue the American dream. We, like cowboys Lester and Karen, are characteristically a restless people, figuratively roaming around in Durango. We just keep drifting along. Lester's characterization shifts when he trades in the Durango for the Windstar. By the way, this was a van with a reputation for poor design and unreliability. If you don't believe me, just Google the reviews. Ford cut it after about three years, I think. Question. What does this vehicle change possibly suggest about Lester's character? Characterization by actions. 
Lester puts on the cruise line company's bear costume, which alters his appearance and, figuratively speaking, alters his identity. His identity is also characterized as shifting or changeable, some have said chameleon-like, symbolized by his purchase and use of stolen IDs and credit cards. Characterization by attitude or strongly held beliefs. Besides his belief in Durango's, Lester believes in taking advantage of opportunities to make money. He believes in hustle. Questions. Does Lester's belief in the work ethic make him more or less sympathetic? Does his belief make him more or less American? Elaborate in your analysis if you choose to unpack this point. Characterization by the name Lester. Question. What are the various origins and meanings for the name Lester? Do any of these meanings fit within the context of his characterization by Doctoro? Characterization of minor characters. Brenda, the barmaid. She's a cigarette smoker. This is characterization by gestures, habits, action. Other examples include her physical appearance, her body type, dress, her uniform, direct manner of speech, an exposition about her libido. These are examples of Dr. Rowe's characterization of the minor character, Brenda. Question to think about. Does this character serve the plot? How so? Question. Does Brenda fit the textbook's description of a stock character, a stereotype, or a caricature? Explain yes or no. Topic and theme examples. There are numerous topics in literary works. This is only a partial list of the topics in our text. Thus far in Dr. O's short stories, we have seen a preoccupation with ambition, hustle, and self-improvement in pursuit of the American dream. Considering this, could it be that Dr. O is questioning, if not critiquing, where the relentless pursuit of the American dream can lead if unchecked? If so, this would be a major idea that the author is trying to convey through character and plot, of course, so remember to continue using those plot terms. Theme. If possible, and you are sure you understand the difference between the similar concepts of topic and theme, please consider attempting the inclusion of a theme in your thesis. If a statement of theme is successfully executed in the thesis and possibly elsewhere in the essay, an extra fraction of a point may be added to the grade. Topic 1. Justice, Crime, and Punishment Examples include a portioning of guilt between the protagonists and other flawed characters in the text, including everyman figures, meaning the public, bystanders, you and me, the outside world's crime and misdemeanors, like those of the fake kidnappers trying to profit off of the kidnapping, accomplices as foils, sharing common fate, questions. For the sake of argument, not saying this is true, but if Karen is a foil for Lester, then what does her character's presence reveal about Lester through contrast? Question. This is a collective guilt thought question. Thinking about the accomplices in Dr. O's crime, historical fiction, are we all in this life together and all guilty of something in varying degrees? Let me repeat. Are we all in this together and guilty of something in varying degrees? Question about fate. Are we all doomed for our crimes of omission or commission? In other words, must we all have to pay eventually for our sins? Question about crime and punishment or karma. What do you think about Dr. Rowe permitting his protagonists to apparently get away with it? Question. 
Regarding the taking and holding of the baby, is possession, as the old adage goes, nine-tenths of the law? Why or why not, in this case, as compared to others? Two, mental illness versus normalcy. Question, is sanity relative and possibly overrated? Three, love topic. Question, is true love possible even between two highly flawed people? Question, is love redeeming or just a mutually shared form of mental illness? Four, family topic, conventional versus self-defined. Question, why is it not a federal crime when we all know that not all biological parents are fit or fully sane, and in fact are sometimes criminally abusive. Question. In the absence of irrefutable physical resemblance or DNA evidence, how do any of us really know that we were not kidnapped in infancy? Gender topics. Five. Chivalry with Lester as the protector. Google his name. Female passivity versus agency the female crime or sin archetype. Question. Calling to mind the textbook's explanation of feminist criticism in the appendix at the back, what might such a critic observe about Karen's crime? Question. What are some of the stereotypical female gender traits that Karen displays? Six. Identity topic. The multiple names of the baby, the FBI's and society's naming or labeling of criminals by their crime, like conmen, con men. let me repeat that, the FBI's and society's naming or labeling of people by their crimes, like con men. Question. Does the text suggest another approach to the establishment of identity? Seven, the faith topic. Remember little Jesus. Question, is there a nativity tale illusion? Question, what might a possible nativity illusion suggest about Christians who believe that the son of their God was born among the animals, that is nature, remember Karen among desert wildflowers, by a woman on a road trip, being escorted by a man who was not the father of her child, dependent on the kindness of strangers and three wise men? Got any connections between the nativity tale allegory and Dr. Rose? Question. How does the Catholic Church possibly inject greater meaning into the plot regarding faith and its role in society? Eight. Free will. See characterization by name for Baby Wilson. Nine, destiny and fate topic. Examples include Lester's gambling in the Nevada casino, the casinos on the cruise ship, and Lester's pressing his luck by using stolen IDs and the slim chance of finding one's true love. Question. Does the plot contain a hint or whisper of what role luck or fortune may play in destiny? 10. Desire topic. This includes the desire for love, sex, money, human connections, as in the case, love, as in this case, love, family, marriage, and the money to make it all go round. 11. Ethics and moral relativism topic. Question. Is there really such a thing as absolute right and wrong? Question. If the baby goes back to a non-nurturing environment, is that an absolute wrong? Would Karen keeping the baby have been absolutely wrong? See Existentialism Crash Course Philosophy number 16 on YouTube for more on, e on, ethical on the ethical relativism posited by existential thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre.
12. Work ethic. Lester, like Earl in A House on the Plains, believes in work ethic, self-improvement, and taking advantage of opportunities. They both embody the Horatio Alger type of go-getter American optimism. Notice how Lester sees the job as a ship greeter, as an opportunity to achieve something even more profitable. Question, is all of this commendable? How so? 13. Family and parenting topic. Question, does the text seem to challenge the idea of the traditional family? 14. Nature versus nurture topic. Question. On a variation of this idea, what is more important in determining who is a fit parent? Biology, nature, or the capacity to nurture? There is more to this point, but it's beyond the scope of this mini lecture. Nature versus nurture. 15. Psychological topics, mental illness, anxiety, love, love as a real, at love as a psychological or chemical state rather than any kind of real truth, intelligence, dreams, wishes, altered states. 16. Change topic, motion is change. For example, the road, impermanence. Question, does the text seem to favor life on the road or at home as the natural order of things, at least in the American West? Pro tips. Google the names of major characters in a text. Often these names reveal or suggest some concept or idea that's associated with the plot. This concept or idea does not necessarily have to be one that is held or being advocated by the author. It may just be an idea that is being raised, or it may be an idea that has occurred to you, one that you can illuminate and support with textual references and outside sources. This is what we want to do. This is 